today uh, I want to share my uh, favorite uh, snacks. I already promised this in my last video. And because I'm on the road a lot, uh, I travel a lot, I'm always running through the city, uh, I always bring a lot of snacks with me. I never know on set if they have like good food, if there's like good catering. And uh, sometimes you just forget to eat and um, you just need some energy and snacks are perfect for that. Okay, so obviously the first healthy things to uh, put in your bag or to have as a little snack are fruit. I love uh, green apples, bananas and mandarins. You can easily put them in your bag. Um, also, what I've been liking lately is all the different um, nuts. This is actually from a brand called um, Organic Living Superfoods. And what I really like about it is that they do kind of creative stuff with, um, with healthy food. And I think that's also with uh, snacks, you can be very creative with it. So for example, here they have like almonds and they call it like sprouted pizza almonds. So what they did, they have like uh, just general almonds. They add like pizza uh, herbs. So it's like dried tomatoes, oregano, while you're eating just healthy nuts, which it has like a lot of um, healthy fat for your body, you actually taste kind of pizza. So for all pizza lovers, that's definitely a must. What I've been doing lately as well uh, is baking uh, banana bread. You can just make that with like almond flour, eggs and uh, banana. Sometimes um, I also buy this somewhere. You can get this in a lot of my coffee stores or even in the supermarket. This one is from Sands Bakery in New York City. So also what a lot of people asked me was, um, like how do you know if like a snack is like healthy or not healthy? Because in the stores and like in supermarkets, um, they often advertise things like healthy, no sugar, no calories. But what I always do is um, I look at the ingredients and if I can pronounce everything, then most of the times um, it's quite like a good product. Once there is like all this um, sugars or like uh, chemicals in there, you can't pronounce it and it's processed food. So these are kind of snacks uh, I take with me. Um, I buy them like this in the supermarket. You can get some at Trees and Joe's or just an Amazon or any deli. But sometimes when I'm at home, um, I love to make my own snacks as well. So here a uh, little example of what I make. I really like to use uh, brown rice crackers. Um, you can get them lightly salted or not with salt at all. Um, I really like this brand because it's like quite thick. So um, yeah, it's a little bit more filling than just like a very tiny rice cracker. I love to put, uh, of course, my favorite avocado on there just with little pepper and salt or uh, hummus. You can get those in like all different kind of flavors. Um, another snack, I think that's really good like after a workout uh, for some protein is rice cracker with uh, a boiled egg. And last but not least, uh, rice cracker with peanut butter. And actually my favorite peanut butter out there is this one, North Shore Goodies. And it's special made in Hawaii. So the only place where you can get this is Hawaii. Uh, I don't go to Hawaii to get my peanut butter. So um, I ordered this online. And this tastes just amazing. Everyone who comes in here, um, I give them a little spoon, I'm like, oh, try it out. And everyone is like, wow. Uh, the only ingredients are peanuts and coconut. So it's very clean, but it's so smooth and so tasty. I, I can barely believe that it's actually really healthy. So good it is. 
So what I also really like about this snack is that you can make all certain variations. For example, um, the hummus. This is just like um, an original hummus. Um, you can also buy like different tastes with like red bell pepper or uh, garlic. Um, I don't know, there's so many out there. Also, I like to put a little cucumber on there to make it uh, a little more fresh. Another variation uh, for the rice cracker with peanut butter is to put uh, little pieces of banana on there. Um, it tastes absolutely amazing and I think this is also perfect for a um, pre-workout snack or um, after a workout uh, because the peanut butter has a lot of protein there. Oops, I'm even snacking from all my snacks. <laughs> so good it is. Mm. So these are um, things I make in the kitchen. Um, I have some more. No. <coughs> Cameraman action here. Mm. So this is uh, something else I make in the kitchen. Well, not much to make, but um, just cut up different kind of vegetables, anything you like. And I really like to dip this in a little bit of hummus. Mm. It's super easy. Um, no talking with food in my mouth. <laughs> so it's really easy and um, very fresh. Like also you get like a lot of vitamins of all the veggies and you can use any veggie you like. Also the hummus, um, you can change it up like an original one or um, one with a little taste. So this is really nice also just to put on the table if you uh, invite guests. Um, it looks really nice and uh, yeah, everyone can just grab something. Uh, also for movie night, you can put this next to you on the couch. And for a movie night, of course, um, that's where most cravings and uh, everyone eats the most snacks. So I have a couple special ones for that as well. I want to hit line dry. Want to lose weight and keep it? Question for you. Popular pie plan pictured here. So of course Netflix and chill is not complete either with uh, some nice snacks. Um, my favorite one is actually uh, a little popcorn and not very unhealthy one from the cinema. This one I bought at uh, Juice Generation and it's baked with uh, just popcorn, like corn, uh, coconut oil and a little bit of salt. Uh, you can also make this super easy at home in a pan with corn and coconut. Something else um, I really like to have on the couch, all girls know, when you don't feel that well, when the weather is just bad, or when it's just that time of the month, we love chocolate. Um, my favorite one is Lindt, actually, and I like to eat dark chocolate. Another chocolate bar I love is Hu Kitchen. This one is uh, with almond butter and puffed quinoa. This one is again like gluten-free, uh, vegan, and it has like no refined sugars or any cane sugar. So this one is really good. And with chocolate, um, I have some other drinks I really like. Um, lately, I've been obsessed with kombucha. And this is kind of like a probiotic tea. Um, you can get them in all different flavors. This one is blood orange, carrot, ginger. I really like uh, apple as well. You can get this uh, again like a Trader Joe. Um, of course, like Whole Foods has it. And, a lot of other stores so this cold tea is really good for your stomach and digestion and um, it has a lot of flavor as well and besides that also coconut water I travel a lot and um, it really keeps you hydrated also uh, after or before a workout um, I love to have a little bottle of coconut water and actually this reminds me of working out um, have to go. So even when I go 
going through the city, uh, I have always snacks in my bag with me. First one, always a pack of almonds. Super easy and very filling, delicious. Uh, variation on this, um, kind of like a trial mix with like uh, raisins and walnuts and sometimes they have like peanuts and a little chocolate in there. I love to take this as well, it gives a lot of energy. And because I'm heading to one of my workouts, I really love these protein bars, the RX bars. And as you can see, the only ingredients are egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates. And then this one has a coconut chocolate flavor. And another favorite one is this blueberry. And uh, gives a lot of energy. Um, really good before a workout and um, again very filling very easy to take everywhere so I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, this little snack video I uh, hope you learned a little bit and gave you a little impression of things I like to snack during the day um, if you like the video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe either have a good day guys